now we know how to figure out what ions are in different salts and how to calculate out the ionic content, let's work our way through a couple of examples. You are handed a bag of IV fluid. The components are quantified only as salts. And this is the bag of IV fluid. Um, so we don't know what the fluid is, but we know what salts are in it. So there are a bunch of these different salts. There are um, uh, 6 grams of sodium chloride, uh, 3.2 grams of sodium lactate, 400 milligrams of potassium chloride, 270 uh, milligrams of calcium chloride. How do you figure out the concentrations of, the, of these ions once they dissociate into solution? So let's unpack the bag. In this bag, we have two different salts containing sodium, three different salts containing chloride, and one salt containing both calcium and potassium. So we have sodium lactate, sodium chloride, KCl, and calcium um, chloride um, with a bit of water attached to it. We also have lactate um, in one of the bags. So um, the lactate is here, sodium is here, here, Chloride is here, here, and here, and potassium and calcium are separate. So there's lots of bits and pieces here to work out. So let's work out, first of all, sodium lactate. Of course, the atomic weight of sodium is 23, um, but the molecular mass of lactic acid is C3H603. That's the atomic weight. So it's C is 12 and times 3 is 36. Hydrogen is 1.01 times 6, 6.05. Uh, one hydrogen is lost in salt formation, and, and O is 15.99 or 16 times 3, which is 48. So what we have there is 36.3, 6.05 plus 48. So uh, 90.08 is a lactic acid. Sodium lactate, NaC3H5O3, um, works out like this, 23 plus 89.08. Remember, you lose that hydrogen, uh, and that works out at 112.08 um, uh, millimoles per gram. So let's just work this through. We know that um, 1,000 a litre, remember there's 3.2 grams of sodium lactate, 1,000 divided by uh, 23 is 44 millimoles of sodium and 1,000 divided by 89 is 11.2 millimoles of chloride. The um, 23 plus 89 is the atomic weights of sodium and lactate, um, so we can, um, and that works out at 112.1. We work out the proportion of each one, 23 divided by 112.1 is 0.2 grams, um, 89 divided by 112.1 is 0 0.8 grams. And then, of course, there's 3.2 grams of each. So it's 3.2 divided by and multiplied by 0 0.2 is 0 0.64 grams of sodium. And 3.2 multiplied by 0 0.8 is 5.55 grams of lac lactate. So 0 0.64 multiplied by 2.5 is 29 millimoles of sodium and 11.2 multiplied by 2.5 grams is 29 millimoles of lactate. That's our sodium lactate. Now we have our sodium chloride. We've done all this before, but let's just run through it again. 1,000 divided by 23 is 43.5 millimoles of sodium. 1,000 divided by 36 is 28 millimoles of chloride. Adding the atomic mass of both gets you the molecular mass of sodium chloride is 58.5. Um, we know that 23 divided by 58.5 is 0 0.4 grams of sodium per 1 gram of salt, and it's 0 0.06 grams of chloride per um, gram of salt. There's 6 grams of sodium chloride in this bag of fluid, so that's 6 times 0 0.4 or 2.36 grams of sodium and 6 times 0 0.6 or 3.6 grams of chloride. 44.5 times 2.3 grams is 102 millimoles of sodium, and 11.2 multiplied by 3.6 is 102 millimoles of chloride. 
The bag also contains 400 milligrams or 0.4 grams of KCL. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, add the atomic mass of um, um, potassium, which is 39.1, and chloride, which we know is approximately 36. So it's 39.1 and 36, and that works out, at KCL works out at about 75 um, 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 an atomic mass, uh, 74.55. Then, of course, you divide 39.1 by 75, and that works out at 0 0.52. Um, and 35 or 36 divided by 75 is 0 0.48 grams um, of chloride per gram of KCL. Um, there's only 400 milligrams of KCL in here, so it's 0 0.04 times 0 0.052 or 0 0.21 grams of potassium and 0 0.4 times 0 0.48 or 0 0.19 grams of chloride. 1,000 divided by 39.1 is 25.6, and 1,000 uh, divided by um, 35.45 um, or 36 is 28.2 grams per mole um, of, of chloride. So you multiply the millimoles per gram by the number of grams, and that's 25.6 times 0 0.021, which is 5 millimoles of potassium, and 28.2 multiplied by 0 0.19, and remarkably, it's 5 millimoles of chloride. So far, so easy. In this bag, there was also 270 milligrams, or 0.27 grams, of calcium chloride dihydrate. So calcium chloride contains calcium and chloride. To form a salt, the charges must be balanced, so we have our calcium, which is divalent, and two chloride um, 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 ions. Thus, there are two uh, chlorides for every calcium. But to make a salt, water, two water molecules are added. That's why it's called dihydrate. Um, so, calcium chloride dihydrate, when you add up the molecular mass of each one of these, you work out to have a molecular mass of 147. I have a whole supplementary tutorial on calcium following this, if you're interested. Let's just work that through. Um, 1,000 divided by 40.08, that's the atomic mass of calcium, is 25. That's the number of millimoles per gram. Um, then 1,000 divided by 36 is the is 28.2, which is the number of millimoles per gram, as we have seen before, of calcium. So you add um, the atomic mass of uh, calcium in the and twice the atomic mass of chloride. That gets you a calcium chloride on its own of 147, um, which includes the two waters, so 111 plus 100 uh, plus 36, which is two water molecules. Remember, water is 18, gets you to 147. Then you determine the proportion of each. 40.08 divided by 147 is 0.273. Chloride, 70.9 uh, divided by 147 is 0 0.048. To figure out the quantity in grams, it's 0.27 times 0.273, which is 0. 0.073 grams of calcium and 0 0.27 multiplied by 0 0.48 or 0 0.13 grams of, uh, of chloride. Multiplying the number of millimoles per gram by the number of grams, it's, remember, two, um, calcium is 25 times 0 0.1 grams or 2 millimoles and chloride is 28.2 multiplied by 0 0.13 or 4 millimoles. Remember, there are two um, chlorides for every calcium. So let's repack the bag. We have 29 of lactate, 29 of sodium plus 102 of sodium plus 102 of chloride, that's the salt. And then we have another 5 of um, chloride and potassium. And then we have another four of chloride and two of calcium. And let's all add this up together. So in total, we end up with 29 millimoles of lactate, 131 millimoles of sodium, 111 millimoles of chloride, five millimoles of potassium, 
and two millimoles of calcium. So what we have in this bag, of course, is Hartman's solution. And that's the, the components of Hartman's solution. Uh, now, it's not exactly the same as Ringer's lactate. Ringer's lactate is uh, used in the United States and in some other countries. And everyone sort of thinks that, that they're saying they're all compound sodium lactate solutions. But uh, lactated Ringer's contains 3.1 grams per liter of sodium lactate, 6 grams per liter of sodium chloride, 300 milligrams per liter of potassium chloride, and then um, calcium chloride with the two uh, water molecules, 200 milligrams per liter. And you can work this out yourself. You should have a bit of fun doing this, but um, if you pause now, you can do it. If not, just follow me. And that works out at 130 of sodium, 28 millimoles of lactate, 110 millimoles of calcium, of chloride, four millimoles of potassium, and 1.5 millimoles of calcium. If you're looking for some more homework, you can look at this particular fluid uh, and figure out how to translate um, the various um, grams of different salts into millimoles per litre or milli equivalents per litre.